Hello everybody, my name is James. I wrote this uh, app so all you uh, new installers and technicians and everybody else uh, didn't have to do cable math in their head. Um, now let's get started. First we click on the icon, Cable TV Math. It brings up the drop screen. You can put all your inputs in your uh, levels, uh, your uh, drop information, uh, what type of drop it is, how many feet it is. Then you can hit your menu button, which mine's right there, it pops up the menu. You can hit your results, or you can go to tap, splitters, or network, or anything like that. So for right now, let's just put in some information here. So we're going to put levels at channel 135. We're going to put that at, at the uh, at the tap. We're going to go 27.5. Okay. Then the next one for channel 2, we're going to go 23.7. What the heck? And transmit, we're going to call it 34.5. We're going to say we have a 137-foot RG6 drop. So once you get all that information in, you hit your menu button, and you hit results. It's going to tell you all what your level should be at the ground block at this point due to the drop information. You can also then go back to your network, and you can put all your information in for your network. I'll put levels of the active. Um, I'll get my paper here real quick so I can look at one. We're going to go with 48 and 36. That's the active I'm looking at. 48 and 36. We're going to say I have a current tap value of a 17, which it doesn't matter how many ports at this point. Okay, and then we're going to go add up all the cable that we have. For my case, we're going to have, and I didn't do the math correctly, we're going to call it 350 feet of 540QR. Okay, we have no no two ways, nothing else. So we're going to go to the uh, taps. In my case, I have a 26.4. I have a 23.8. I have a 22. And then I have the tap that I'm at, which is a 17.4. But we don't put that here. We put that on the other one. So then we can go here, you can go splitters, if you have any two ways or anything like that. That's This one's mostly for uh, drops, but you go splitters, uh, you go to results, and it tells you what you should have at 860 megahertz, 54 megahertz, and then we still have the drop information in there as well. And that's what you should have at the tap you're working on. If you don't have that, then there's something wrong. Enjoy the app, and uh, hopefully it's useful. If you have any uh, questions or concerns or complaints or upgrades or modifications you'd like to see on this app, just send me an email, jamesotr at gmail.com. Have a great uh, year. Bye.